Yeah, while we were trying to fulfill the will of the Asians, at the same time, Sid's hideaway was destroyed and he went down. Um, well, not with the hideaway, but he went down. And as a result, now we have his powers. So yeah, if we're losing Sid here and gaining Ramu's powers, I can't help but feel like it will only be a matter of time before something happens to Jill and we end up with Shiva's power. If that's how this is going, then it's not going to get any better. So, hey there Elizabeth, and to everyone else that's just logging on, we're glad to have you with us here tonight. So, greetings people of the world, Matthias we'll Griffin back with you for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XVI Live. So, we're here at Hideaway version 2.0, which is erected on the top of a derelict ancient fallen airship. Because of course, Final Fantasies have to have an airship, it is part of the tradition. But now we have to go and find some people known as curse breakers. So, in or before I head off, because I'm sure that you are probably keeping track of things, um, I do need to find, um, I do need to go to Karen's Toll before we go because I need to get more strength tonic. Um, but on top of that, um, my ability points are accumulating. It's now up to 12.15 now, so I'll obviously want to unlock Garuda's Aerial Blast and also Ramu's Judgment Bolt when the opportunity pre presents itself. And of course, upgrade the various abilities that they possess. So I'll just have to, before we go, head off to find Karen's Toll. Hey there, Moogle, how are you? Yeah, it is my first time back on the ship after the previous stream, so I do need to reacquaint myself with everything. A <laughs> good day to you, Sid. Yeah, by the way, for those of you who missed out on the previous stream, because Sid's no longer with us, Clive decided to take on Sid's moniker. And now everyone calls him Sid. Which which is sounds silly, but yeah, whatever. I mean, it's not as if the shock of getting a five-year time warp wasn't insane enough. Go on. Suspicious. I may have to come back to you later. Yeah, where's the... Okay, it's over that way. Alright. Because, yeah, the, at the last... Um, end of the last stream where we were speaking with Hippocrates or whatever his name was. Oh, there are now quest icons appearing, as there should be. Escape from the slave markets. Also, are there any notable um, treasure chests or anything? The others. So yeah, we could very well use those too. In fact, it seems like we're approaching one. You know, here's some... Here's a bedroom for people. No less than five beds are here. And Tario runs everything. Oh, is this... Oh, inspect. Treatment diary. Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so that I could heal. But not an hour later, he was leaving in an hour on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes to me for treatments, I'm tying him to the bed. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, it seems like I'm very defiant in this role as Sid. But then again, Sid wanted to stick his neck out there and play the role of a rebel, and that's exactly what Clive is doing, I guess. Okay, so yeah, we talked to Otto last time. Just need to find my way back over to the other side, which is what we're doing right now. Yeah, so yeah, it's actually completely cut off from everything else. Huh? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, Karen. Yeah, now you have a proper 
merchant stall. And what can I do for you? And apparently you've taken up Sid's smoking habit. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm not gonna need to sell or not gonna need to not use these else? swords anymore because they're weaker. I reckon I can find a buyer. Come again. Oh. Or don't. Or don't yeah, just and you still got that dog, snobbish then. attitude of yours. And now elixirs are in play at 10,000 per. Here. Instantly restores all HP. Yeah, I think we may need to wait a while before we consider buying elixirs. But holy cow. Yeah, they're, they're definitely coming with it now. Also, we have new accessories to possibly consider, and they're worth a pretty penny. Yeah, automatically charge around expels and maintains the charge until cast. Increase number break generation amount by three percent when dealing damage, or by six or by six percent when taking it. We also have cooldown for heat wave, um, for rook scambits. We have golden testament increase skill by thirty five percent. I don't think we're that desperate. On fortune heavens increase XP by fifteen percent. That may be important. That may be something I could use later. Increase ability points and earned in normal encounters by twenty percent. So yeah. They are, they are, at this point, they are now starting to make these accessories very, very useful. Also, too late. Is that all? But that's what the autosave is for. Yeah, that, that's what the autosave is for. So fix your mistakes. Yeah, hey, hey there, Lou. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, let's get back over to Karen and try this again. Blood on it. Is it business or pleasure? He's the, your, your mind works in mysterious ways there, Karen. You'll not find a better price than that. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely need the, to consider those accessories later down the line. Finished, are you? Yes, I am. Do we have upgrade available ability from Blackthorn? What do you need? Sorry, would it be? Um, not yet. I need a flame tongue, which I actually believe I have sold off. Yeah, so, sorry, Lou. Yeah, and I also got rid of the storm cry because I didn't know that these were all things that I required. Fine. Yes, I acknowledge them as key items, but yeah, I'm already past the point of no return. Alright. <laughs> you need a different game to play. And also, it's Dreamlight Valley. Never heard of it. Alright, it's time for us to go find some curse breakers. By going over here, back to Martha's Rest. Because in the previous stream, Martha has suddenly randomly disappeared. What happened here? Let's find out. Come on. We need to find the others. You're best off staying. Yeah, better go while we can. Let's get you to a physical So as we open the door, who is here to greet us? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes? Yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Obviously, she did the wrong kind of intervention. Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. Oh boy. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. They found him after all this time. Jill and I will go on. That's why the five year time the gap just doesn't make sense. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. Oh, great. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. 
Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Yeah, we're in a bad way right now. Yeah, now we have to save people who we may not even be able to save. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. It certainly was. Culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. I guess they did. And once they have, then things really got out of hand. I also worry for the Abbot as well. Brian will be disappointed if he if anything happens to the Abbot. So on to the field we go. Oh, no, so I guess we're attacking from range. Yeah, th this is rare to see me in this situation. Also, I'm pressing L2 instead of L1. There we go. Yeah, I realized I was holding down the wrong button. Thankfully for me, these enemies are rather easy, but given that I'm now five levels ahead of them instead of them being on par with me, and we're just that close to 25. We'll go around Look. this way. Up ahead. Oh, well, we had to go this way. And we found Martha. Martha. Apparently she got her shackles off. Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. A new threat arrives. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Uh-oh. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive. Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. Are we really sure we can trust Cole so. Trickle on this? Thank you, Clive. Or is it Cole Levens because we know what happened to him in real life? Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? Yeah, if they used to work for um, Rosaria, they may have been like revolting or something. Get him. Over here. And, I, and I apparently seem to be content to fire from a distance. I mean, I don't mind. I'm not being attacked until now. Over here. Get him. This There we go, there's a little bit up to 25. Onward. Yeah, we want to save the limit break because I'm pretty sure we're going to need to break the church down. Oh, I'm under attack. By a spider. And it's friend. Oh, apparently that was good enough for uh, achievements. You take them while you can get them. Onward. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. Oh, there's another Matthew out there, Lou? Yeah, there's another Matthew that you know about? Or who knows you? Meanwhile, here's the aftermath of what happened to the those were cursed. To no real surprise. No. Total ransack <sighs> and annihilation. I thought you lot were all spent. And you're the reason why. The murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Nope. 
That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Well, you ain't gonna get her. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Trying to take on me. That's even worse. Oh, and there are the black shields. Shall they be punished? Such is the law. Oh, who is the mystery to person? Well, in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these are swords, we swear. So we have dark How knights. Dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. I hope you're right. We're off. <sighs> well, yeah, let's just start by doing crazy stuff like this. And you know what? Since this is a group on slot, let's pull the trigger on the limit break and really get it in there. And now I got all of you together and apparently you've been knocked down. I don't know what caused you to be knocked down, but you're down and it'll stay that way. And over to you. Yeah, see you flying. Who's Ruta? Now for you. Seems to be the last one left, and that's that. All right. Well, hang in there, Lou. You're doing great. Jo you're doing a great job. I think so. Quest complete. But at what cost? I don't know what these new points are. We do get another accessory and a lot of bloody hides. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. I hope you're right. Yeah, hiding in the other room. Hiding in the other cabin. But no, not even he was spared. The abbot. Oh, there he is. No one is safe. The bear has died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Oh, what? Oh, someone is. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any cure spells on you, Jill? We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. Well, every last one from that particular group. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The Cullings will continue. Yeah, the fact that we have dark what nights to deal with now. Those areas will never be saved. Unless we... Save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. What are you talking about, Sid's right here? I shall. Sid, where are you? Sid, in here. We found a survivor. Wait, wait who goes there? Clive. Or at least he was a survivor. He's gone. Yeah, he gave his dying breath to warn us. <sighs> and so now that this place is a ghost town. We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears... They didn't need to die like this. No, Ooh. they didn't. 
but it was their choice. I hate to imagine they what's in that. that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Relics jump. The currents there are swift. Not exactly the, the best way to have your body taken, taken out. Himself and perform the casting. I'll get someone to. I'll do it. Of course. Yeah, I guess you gotta do Call your Yuna impression from Final Fantasy X. Oh, now we gotta do this. Mortal remains. Perform the casting and return to Martha's rest. Make for Riddick's jump. Oh, but not that way. Can't take the most direct path. <clears throat> yeah, right out of the gate, they're coming out swinging. Just like me, I'm coming out swinging too. Nice job. Now this way, please. A few more sharp fangs. Can't walk through that. Yeah, it's a shame you can't. Tells me there's probably another way over there. Or is there? No, we're just walking through a graveyard right now, so yeah, it is. Got we gotta go around the this side of the lake. So that's what we'll do. We'll go pick up some extra stuff along the way as well. Add five gil to the total. Yeah, this is probably more what they were expecting. Oh, wait a minute. I don't fight. Oh, I do, but we had to trigger a cutscene to fight this Armin. Oh, and apparently this is... Something I need to fight. Notorious Marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these Notorious Marks can earn them not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Alright, Armin. Let's introduce ourselves to each other with a limit break usage. Oh great, and you have Doom on you, too. Oh, but it doesn't look like it got off. And you have an eye laser. Get up there, Clive. Oh, walk right into that. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, you didn't go very far at all. Alright, you're down. Let's go for it. Give everything you got into this thing. Might as well use the strength on while I'm here. Try and amp up the damage for 16,000 points. Let's go to limit break again. I might, I might want to get out of that. Waga. Oh, look out, look out. I'm being chased, I'm being chased. We got the partial stagger on him. 
Get out, get out. So it looks like Doom is not a countdown ability, but something that you want to avoid being within when it goes off. All right, go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Another 10,000. Almost to another limit break. Watch out for the Quagga, watch out for the Quagga. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, what the heck's going on? Alright, turn it up. Give it everything you got. Oh, don't you get away from me! Don't you get away from me! Well, it's gonna have to be that way for Doom. Yeah, so far we've been holding our own very well in this fight. Get out of the way of that. I couldn't quite dodge there. Oh, he's getting some shots in before the end here. There we go. Take him down. Notorious Mark Slain. Get 200 experience points, 35 abilities, 5,000 gil, and 10 of the notoriety points. Plus 10 magic dash and a meteorite. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, Clive. Yeah, while we're in the middle of delivering a corpse to this particular spot, yeah, we also decided at that the same time to pick a fight with uh, our first unwitting Notorious Mark. So you all obviously see more of these as we go along. Scatter remains. Ashes to ashes and all that. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? Yeah, they weren't chasing us, were they? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. <laughs> it's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Well, so, so Martha made it back too. Also meant to press this button. All right. Oh, excuse me, sir. The best off staying where we are for now. Going back in. So Martha has made it back. No one survived then? Nope. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh. You couldn't have known. Yeah. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. 
I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. Ordin Define ordinary times, times, Clive. He's unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. Yeah, we need to deal I'm with her too. What goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Okay. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. We'll do what we can, I guess. And so, more points than Giller added. As well as more black blood. A new quest is available nearby, you're in town. But... That's not where we're going. We're going back to the hideaway. Yeah, we can always come back later. 